I found a serum that's showing real promise for reversing grey hair after a six month study with 173 people. It's called Array. The key ingredient is palmitoyl tetrapeptide and I'll link this below. But before you click, let me explain. What actually causes grey hair? In short, we produce less melanin, the pigment responsible for hair colour, for four various reasons. Firstly, genetics. So our genetics supposedly dictate at what age our hair starts to turn grey. I had a friend who went almost completely grey around 25 years old. There's only one specific gene, RIF4, which causes grey hair. But there's a theory it may be less about genes and more about lifestyle habits like smoking, stress or diet, which are often passed down from parents to kids. Secondly, the hydrogen peroxide secret. Our immune system produces hydrogen peroxide to fight off infections. But as we age, high levels accumulate in our hair follicles which bleaches out the natural dark pigment. Luckily our bodies make an enzyme called catalase that breaks hydrogen peroxide down in a flash if you have enough of it. Studies show that grey hair contains much less catalase than pigmented hair. Foods that boost catalase include beef liver, broccoli and kale, sprouts and microgreens. Check out my video on growing them in a jar at home. High fat diets like keto have also been shown to help but don't waste your money on any supplements which claim to contain catalase to reverse graying hair as there is no evidence that they help and companies who have done so have faced legal action from the Federal Trade Commission. But there is a promising ingredient. Studies show that palmitoyl tetrapeptide can boost catalase in hair follicles and cut hydrogen peroxide levels by 30%. By the way, if you have any theories or solutions on reducing grey hair, please comment below. Thirdly, nutrient deficiencies speed up greying, like copper. Tyrosinase is an enzyme that creates melanin and it needs copper to do this. Nuts, seeds, kale, seafoods, chickpeas, all contain copper. Interestingly, stress cranks up cortisol which lowers copper and speeds up greying. Vitamin B12 deficiency is the most common cause of premature grey hair. People deficient in B12 often have problems methylating which means they can't absorb it and would need a methylated B12 supplement. You'd need to do some tests to find out if you're deficient. Zinc activates the melanocytes, that's the cells that create melanin. Biotin is vitamin B7, which is needed for hair growth and strength. People with premature grey hair have low levels of this vitamin. Fourthly, Telogen effluvium. It's when big life stressors such as illness, weight loss, childbirth, fever, eating disorders or medication cause hair to fall out and grow back grey. Trauma disrupts melanin production. As we've seen, stress seems to play a major role in greying hair. We've heard people saying something made them go grey overnight or how their job or husband gives them grey hair. There seems to be some truth in these sayings. So what can you do about going grey? Take steps to reduce your stress levels, cortisol, get enough sleep, maintain a healthy lifestyle. See your doctor if you think you're vitamin B12 deficient or have any eating disorder. You can either try to get all these nutrients I just mentioned from your diet, which is possible and I think that's the best way, but it would need a lot of effort. Supplements are an easier way to ensure you're getting all the specific minerals, etc. that your melanocytes need without worrying about what you're eating all the time and probably much cheaper than buying seafood etc. Then you have repigmentation products you apply topically. So the advantage with these is that the specific ingredients are applied directly to your scalp where you need it rather than ingesting it and not really knowing if your body will absorb it or where exactly it will use it. I've been researching what's available and the best solution I've come across is called Array. I found them myself. They haven't paid or contacted me. They make supplements with all these essential nutrients to keep your hair dark, but they also make a serum which contains many of these enzymes and nutrients we just discussed. If you check the ingredients for this serum, you will see it contains palmitoyl tetrapeptide and biotin. They did a six month randomized double blind placebo controlled study with 173 subjects aged 28 to 65 and they seem to get some quite positive encouraging results. Another serum which contains the same ingredients is Leonor Grail serum. Alternatively you can look at various clinical treatments. PRP, platelet rich plasma, is where they harvest your blood, spin it, then inject it into your scalp. It's meant for hair regrowth, but many patients find that their hair 
grows back darker as you're providing growth factors and nutrients. Some doctors add pig bladder stem cells to your own blood and that is also supposed to reverse grey hair. The whole idea of blood makes me a bit queasy and as I'm vegetarian I'd never even consider using pig cells. A potential future treatment which is being researched is the link between cancer medications and hair repigmentation. In 2016, 52 lung cancer patients in Barcelona were given immunotherapy cancer treatment and 14 patients had their grey hair returned to its natural dark brown or black colour. So if scientists can work out what exactly is going on here, this may be a potential solution and we won't need to worry in the future. I personally think it won't be long before we have a solution for grey hair. So key takeaways, genetics matter, but so does your lifestyle and nutrition. Focus on whole foods, stress management and targeted supplements. There's no magic cure yet, but topical products with real science like palmitoyl tetrapeptide show promise. Don't fall for miracle pills and stick to what's backed by science. If this science blew your mind, hit that like button, subscribe for more deep dive anti-aging discoveries and let me know in the comments what aging mystery you want me to tackle next. Thanks for watching and have a great day.